Um, hi. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, if you can tell, we are doing a little vlog moment because I'm about to leave right now to go and do something very exciting for the next week. Um, if you guys have watched me for a while, you probably know my friend Haley. She is my travel buddy, my adventure buddy, and we are doing something so exciting this week and I've been waiting like a whole year for this. It's so weird, we planned it so long ago and now it's just here. And it's so strange, but it's so exciting. Basically, Haley is in a wedding in Connecticut about a week from now. And we both have wanted to go to a couple places on the East Coast for a while now, Boston and Philadelphia mainly. Like we've both wanted to go for so long. This sounds very weird, but we're very into like history and national treasure. Like we keep calling this our national treasure romp, like our national treasure adventure. It's gonna be so much fun. So basically this week we are going to Philadelphia and Boston over the next seven days. And it's gonna be so much fun. And of course I have to bring you guys along because that's what we do here. I wanna document it. I want you on the journey. It's gonna be a great time. Lots of shenanigans. I'm about to head to the airport right now. I am flying out of Houston. Haley is flying out of Dallas and we are meeting in Philadelphia this afternoon. We're gonna eat lots of cheese steaks. We're gonna have Lots of good times. We're gonna see the Liberty Bell. Why am I fangirling over the Liberty Bell? Like, I'm so excited about that. I don't know, it's just gonna be a great time. So I'm gonna go to the airport now and I'm gonna bring you guys. So let's go. Good morning, Philly! Good morning! Full disclosure, didn't film yesterday because our flights were delayed and then we were ravenous, so we pretty much ate and came back here and watched National Treasure, but today we have a full day of adventures. Yes, indeed. And we're gonna start with a bagel. Let's go. We've spotted Harold in the wild! I love! <laughs> Hooray! Thoughts. You live from the set of National Treasure. Oh my god! <laughs> About to have a dorky literature moment. We're going to Edgar Allan Poe's house. We are just such scholars on this trip, truly. Scholars. That's Indeed. exactly what we are. <laughs> Bro, these rooms are so, like I can touch the ceiling. Not with my tea in my hand, because that's gross, but they're so small. Kind of eerie, not gonna lie. I feel so weird. Like I feel like I just have an eerie weird feeling like there's somebody here. Not in a creepy way though, it's kind of like comforting. I'm sure. <laughs> okay. I'm by myself because Haley went to the bathroom and there's like nobody here. I'm feeling like weirdly emo being here because I'm just like Edgar Allan Poe is so iconic and the fact that he like lived in this house and wrote so many things that he had no idea people like hundreds of years later would still be talking about and like his wife was really sick when he was living here and so much like greatness still came out of this house it just makes me a little emotional seeing it and that it's still standing like I'm just like a total dork for this kind of stuff like seeing where people created things that have like tested time you know I think what it is for me like if you guys know me at all like I fear oblivion Augustus waters the fault in our stars like just the idea of not being remembered after you die and not leaving anything behind or doing anything extraordinary like that's one of my biggest fears it's kind of irrational I know but it's just so cool that like he passed away and 
we all still know who he is. I don't know. It's really cool. Are you so happy we did this? Yes. For reasons other than yours. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I haven't videoed too much today because we've been doing a lot of like museums and historical stuff which is cute for us but like not as cute for the vlog but yeah. now is the real showdown, the real event of the day. Um, so there are two iconic places in Philly to get a Philly cheesesteak and they are Pat's, Pat's Steaks and Gino's Steaks. And so what we were doing is we were having a showdown of the cheesesteaks. We, they're right across the street from each other. So we're gonna try Pat's. Then we're gonna pop on over to Gino's and we're gonna declare which one is the best. But first of all, Pat's has Dr. Pepper. So they're already winning in my book. Yeah. But we're about to see. And we got cheese fries. Because cheese fries are amazing. Obviously. Not sure of an attractive way to do this, but. <laughs> Dangerous. Shall we go for it? <laughs> okay, I've got to be honest, I'm not like blown away. Yeah. Like, so this my, one? My mall cheesesteak is perfectly fine. Do okay. you think it's the cheese ones though? I don't know. So you got the steak, cheese whiz, peppers, onions, right. mushrooms. mushrooms. One more bite. Second bite. I mean, she's pretty good, but I'm ready to see what Gina's has to give. Should we try a cheese fry for the people? You're balancing against the cheese fries currently. I'm literally not lying. That's how I feel. Do you not agree? I think it's equal. I just feel like we would not be here alive. <laughs> Probably right. I remember watching this, and you're a Philadelphian. I didn't mean it. It's a joke. Haha. -ha. <laughs> okay, we have arrived at Gino's. The experience is already very different. It is much cleaner and more commercial here. I feel like this very is a commercial. chain. They have like merch and stuff where I feel like, what was that place called? Pats? Yeah, they literally have their own water bottles. <laughs> um, very different vibes. So, interested to see those. Hey, Randall, do you want to do this at the Whip? <laughs> <laughs> my dad. <laughs> my dad's we need space. to give my parents their own water bottles. I love that. Um, you ready Here to try go. this steak a seat? <laughs> Ma'am, they're children. This is a family. <laughs> this is a family show. Or is it? <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oh my god, it's like definitely covered in oil or something. It is, for sure. I think this one's way better. I got a hot take, but neither are blowing my mind. So it's your best song. It's like not. If y'all have ever heard of a Charlie's <laughs> in the mall, literally better than so both. Wrong. I'm gonna take one more. This one's good though, at least. I'm gonna be honest. The other place, I was literally like, um, like I could make this. Did I just say that? Philadelphians, don't cancel me. I feel like Philadelphians like probably know. Way better places, but these were the iconic places, so we had to. But definitely, Guy Fieri told me to come here for sure. Um, Gino's wins definitively. I said it. Okay, so our final activity of the day was my special request. 
Yes, it was. We're going on a ghost tour. Yes, we are. We've done lots of creepy things today. <laughs> I guess yeah, just have. Edgar. Oh, which by the way, look what I got at Edgar Allan Poe's house. Because I'm five years old, I got a raven. Okay, but I'm gonna put it on my bookshelf. It's gonna also, be cute. it's a finger puppet. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't know that. Know that. I mean, come on. I felt moved. It's giving. It's gonna sit on my like four book horror section of my <laughs> bookshelf. Wow. It's uh in depth area I think of your bookshelf. The best ten dollars I ever spent. We're like thirty minutes early for the store, so we're just gonna park it. Chillin'. If we don't get possessed. Hall, there she is right there. Oh. Full circle moment. Yeah, that's where we started this morning. Besides the bagel. The bagel was May everything. I don't think I filmed the bagel, and I'm sorry for that because that was the greatest we bagel I've the bagel. ever had. So good. to take our flight to Boston. So about to head into like two of the trip. I'm so excited. So many fun things planned there and some plans that we literally just changed in the last day, because that's how we are. So let's go. The way that we own this airport. As always, there's, <laughs> like, there's people here. Quite literally. Omni we in Boston because we are bougie and we got the top floor. You want to tell them we why we're able to stay here? Because you got a deal on something. But why is there a deal? I don't remember. Tell us. According to the internet, this is the most haunted hotel in Boston. <laughs> I'm Little did I so know excited. when I looked, I was like, oh, it's so cheap. This is who we're going to be haunted by tonight. I can feel it. Mr. Parker House. So it's gonna look so pretty at night. It is indeed. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay guys, I'm dorking out a little bit because if you've read my book, When Fade Breaks, out now on Amazon, link in the description, um, a big part of that book takes place here at the Boston Public Garden, but fun fact, I've never been here before. Um, I just found it online and I looked it up and I stared at Google images of it for like two weeks straight as I wrote that chapter. So actually being here is really exciting and it's way more beautiful than I could have ever imagined. And it is so hot. It is so <laughs> hot. Tripping. It is almost but, 90 but degrees today. Straight up, but this is beautiful and it's really surreal to be here. And it's everything I dreamed of. Okay. <laughs> oh, we're doing a pan. My Philographer is just on point today. I'm getting the roll, obviously. <laughs> So we quite literally just walked past the Dylan Sprouse. Period. 
he, I know for a fact it was him because I had to do a triple take and I was like, I swear to God, I recognize him. That's Dylan Sprouse. And I was like, no, it can't be because his hair was really short. But then I'm like, oh, yep, that's Barbara Palvin yep. walking with him. Um, they were like three feet away. We were Didn't get a picture. I have no proof. You don't have to believe me, but um, it happened. It 100% happened. So what you doing in Boston, Dylan? <laughs> <laughs> Want to hang? Where's Cody? Should I have asked him where Cody was? Oh my god. <laughs> Cody! This is the sweet life, all I've got to say. Oh my goodness. I hate us. Okay, hello. It's the next day. You might be able to tell. We're not in the city right now. And that is because we had a very chaotic uh, redirect of our little trip here. Tell them how we got here. Basically, when we were going on our ghost tour, we had a lot of time to kill. So I was like, let's play 20 questions. And we started talking about what our favorite movies were. And both of us instantly were like, the proposal, right? We both were like, the proposal, obviously. And then it like, I had this epiphany and I was like, wait, I feel like the proposal was actually filmed in Massachusetts, not in Alaska. And we Googled it and we're like, it's 45 minutes from Boston. Therefore we must go. So we are now in Rockport, Massachusetts and we are living our best lives in this cute ass little town. And we're looking for Ryan Reynolds. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Hi, I'm doing a voiceover here because it's so windy you can't hear anything I'm saying, but I'm basically showing this is the little area where they get on the boat in the proposal. That's the little house that you see in the movie, the little red house, and she hops on the boat, and this is where they drive away, and they go to visit the parents' house. I was freaking out and screaming. Um, sorry you missed it. <laughs> Okay, so we were just in our hotel and we got an emergency alert that told us to take the nearest stairwell and we're on the 14th floor, so this is what's happening now. I'm getting dizzy walking in circles. We have a baseball game to go to. I should I have brought everything? Great question, I don't know. <laughs> oh my God, it almost fell. <laughs> okay, update, we didn't die. It was a fire alarm, but it was a false alarm. Yes. That was really fun, running down 14 flights of stairs. Oh, hello. We weren't trying to take a nap or anything. No, no. But um, now we're going to the Red Sox game, which is gonna be fun. Gonna muck a hot dog that we do not need. Absolutely. Our insides are dying, but what a day it's been. <laughs> Okay, even though my backpack I traveled with is quite literally bursting at the seams, simply couldn't help myself. Are we surprised? Even though we were already stands of Benjamin Franklin, we've learned so much more about him on this trip. And I'm like, this man has done everything. So we each got this little Ben Franklin book that we're gonna buddy read together. Buddy. It's gonna be so fun. At our own pace. Of course. And then I found, I'll show you guys later, but I found this Alexander Hamilton book that's like super old and super cute. And I opened it and it was written kind of like a story. Felt like Bridgerton, it was a cute moment. Scholars. We're scholars, we're in Boston and we're scholars. What can we say? We also went to one of the <laughs> oldest bookstores in America. I love this for us.
Okay, we're back at the gardens. If you've read When Fate Breaks, this is the statue. Which you should. Obviously. This is the statue where Annie meets, Annie's family meets Blake's family. In this story, they're chilling at the statue and that's their little meeting point. And now we're seeing it in person. I've looked at it on Google Images so many times, so many hours. <laughs> I've adopted a Boston accent, by the way. I don't even think I'm doing it very well, but <laughs> it's been our way of talking the last 48 hours. Yeah. I love it. Dreams Bridgerton rendition. Oh, of course. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Why would you not just insert this? Song? No, no, copyright. We don't have time for that. Oh, right, right, this right. Is our tea. So lovely. Everybody, I am home. I actually got home yesterday, but I just was sitting here uh, cuddling with my son, reading a little book, realized um, I had, did not finish the vlog out. I feel like this entire vlog was very chaotic, very all over the place. In all honesty, I just had a really great trip and a really great time, and we did a lot of fun things, but we honestly did a lot of it at kind of like a leisurely pace. Like we just, we wanted to go on this trip for a very long time. There were a lot of things we wanted to see, a lot of things we wanted to do, and uh, we really did them all. And I didn't want to stress too much about vlogging. I obviously wanted to bring you guys along. I wanted to capture the things I wanted to look back on, but like it just, you know, I don't think I did the greatest job. But here we are anyways. I think it's fine. I think you get the gist. I'll be so happy to go back and watch this. Um, but yeah, I had such a great time and I don't want to have to get back to reality. Luckily, I have this entire weekend before. I go back to work, but um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, whatever it turned out to be. I love you guys so much, and I will see you very soon with some more book content. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!